I'm just gonna be doing a dab when you when I first come on. Exactly. <laughs> make it look like I didn't know you're doing it, and then I'll be like, oh. calling me that. <laughs> <laughs> well, now they hear they heard that. <laughs> I got your audio coming through by accident. Okay. Oh wait, is that um? Okay, we're live. We're live. We're live. We are fucking live. I had my audio looped in, double checking, triple checking, but we're live. We're good. How's everybody doing out there today in Cyber World? Cyber World Friday. Um, you know what day it is? You know what fucking day it is? It's Friday. It's fucking viewer submission beat and grief Friday. Ball and F. Yeah, you saw it. You saw it. All right, it's okay. We ruined we ruined the surprise, but it's all right. You at least you know who's who's coming up, who we got as a guest. If you didn't read the title down there, you know who we got as a guest. We're gonna let a couple more people get in here, start fucking putting their goddamn uh, their tunes in Discord, and um, I just want to say hi. Hey, Smokeland, how you doing? Ballin' F, how you doing with the Quishas, J Bones? I submitted. Let's go, Smokeland. I'll find it if anything. Looking forward to hearing it. So, so, are we are we low temping right now? Or are we good? I want to introduce everybody to our fucking guest, our very special guest. I've been going on tour with this man since the very beginning. We didn't even know what kind of friendship this would blossom into, and now we got him on the get uh, on the show. We got him on the beat and greet. So everybody, welcome our big homie, Honeycomb. That was a big old dab. Wow. Thank you for hosting the stream, Optic. How you doing, my man? Hey, hey, hey. Wow. Lungs of steel. <coughs> Does beatboxing help you with dabbing or no? No, not at all. Not at all. <coughs> not at all. Well, I'm sure that's going to help my partnership. I just applied for my application today. Yep, so you take a big old rip for your partnership, you the, know? The first, the first clip that they're going to see is Honeycomb taking a big old one. But we're in a legal state, so it's cool, dude. We're in a fucking legal state. Massachusetts. Recreational. Medical. I just might have to, to, to make this an 18 and up <laughs> channel now. <laughs> My bad. No, you're good. You're good. So, uh, yeah, I mean, hey, let's get, right into, let's get right into the goods. Thank you for the fucking sub, Liz. Thank you for subbing to Smokeland. I'll let him know if he got his shit in the right place. Um, you know where to put it. Christy D, thank you for resubbing. Guys, you know where to put the fucking tunes. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, he's going to hit us with a little diddly. Okay, so Smokeland, I, I got it. I got it. I see where it is. We got yours in here. We got a couple more in there. But uh, before we get into the viewer submissions, we, we you know we're, let's step into the mind of Honeycomb over here. This crazy hey, hey. fella. I don't know if you want to do that. Oh, <laughs> isn't that what your um, isn't that what your uh, your last EP was called? <laughs> yeah. What, that, what's inside, what's my, inside head? my head? Yeah, yeah. Love, letting everybody know. I guess you're right. Yeah, I mean, hey, we took a deep step in there, bro. Yeah. And it's like uh, I've been doing the same beats over and over for 15 years. You know, I had to just put them down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think it came out perfectly though. Like um, having it mastered by. Somebody Bob. who, yeah, Bob, who's like, who takes into account the loudness. I think that was a perfect, like, a perfect way to, like, uh, show the bass community what you're, what you're capable of, you know? Yeah, I was, wasn't going to have anybody else do it because I wanted it to be as hidden as the, your tracks and stuff. I know <laughs> you'd be, you'd be making, giving it to him and stuff. Yeah. And then no. Tonio and my friend Chris Ball are the ones who mix that. Antonio Sagan. Oh shit! Well, they did a crazy good job too. Because have you have you heard that on like Henny's or has anyone played actual tracks out in front of you or you just you just recreate them live? What do you mean? Like, if you're, would you ever play those out those MP3s out or are you just recreating them live? Like, if you uh, play a DJ set, are you gonna drop one of those tunes or would you just plug in your I mic just and do it? Do a lot. I would feel uh, corny as hell. It's like, yo, I could just get <laughs> up the mic and do this, but here's the song. <laughs> <laughs> you never know that it's mastered so well like i i don't know maybe that's the whole point of doing it live. <laughs> that's true that's true I, I mean you never know maybe you do a little live rendition live on top of it but um your your fucking setup's always been changing that's why i gotta constantly ask bro you got this drum pad in the back i never saw you bring that out to a show 
I did a couple, I did it a couple times, but I w- originally will give a little backstory on the the looping thing. I was like originally <laughs> Honeycomb was supposed to be a looping project, and the first set I played was with a bass guitar, a chaos pad, which is like the light up things right there. Oh yeah, yeah. And um, I beatboxed, and I did played like this Halloween show, and I like covered like j- the Friday the Thirteenth or whatever the song. Dun, 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 and I brought my like seven string, and I was like playing oh, guitar shit. and stuff. But I'd bring all this gear out, and then I would get up to beatbox solo, and everybody would react way better to that. And I'm like, I'm bringing all this gear out, and everybody just was like, and then I'll be like playing the stuff, and people will be like beatbox, <laughs> dude, like. Come on. <laughs> so I, I remember that. You'd bring out like your these things, dude, your keys too, man. You'd bring out fucking full a full setup, man. And you'd come out playing some classical shit, playing some real dope live loop and stuff, and then like I feel like now it's just you bring your mic here, just simple cut and dry kind of guy. Mic and a dab rig, if anything. Yeah. I I just like that's so much shit to carry and for people to not like be into it. It's, it's like I'm like sitting here playing, <laughs> and it's like people are like yelling at me while I'm doing a beatbox, <laughs> and it's just be like I get billed for like an EDM show and I'm coming and playing. It's like that doesn't even make sense. And then I put on my and I do like this type of beatbox during that set, and uh, that's what people are craving. Yeah, but back to this, I did bring this out, and I have a few videos of me using this live on my Facebook, but it was very short lived because it was just so much gear. And it also, well, I wasn't able to have my studio set up. So I wasn't, I, anytime I try to like make something like, Oh, got to break down all my shit to go bring wow. it to a gig. And I was doing a weekly gig in Worcester with this too. So every Wednesday I had to pack my shit up wow. and bring it. It was to the point where I just like left it in the case. <laughs> I wasn't even practicing. The only time I was practicing was one day a week, Wednesday. Yeah. Damn. Well, have you, have you, like um seen or felt anything different now that you're in quarantine and this shit is like permanently there at least for a couple months oh this is the this is this has been the best time for me in a long time (laughs) yeah i I think people are reacting to and and like you know i've always been the advocate of seeing you do this live and be like yo this dude is is crazy talented (laughs) in more ways than just beatbox you know Uh and uh i think now that people have that look into your fucking room they could just see all the plethora of different shit that you're you're toying around with, you're messing around with right here, and and it's like you, it looks like you're improving on. It. Like I've I've known you for how long, and I never seen the the drum pad. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, or it's, the guitar. I feel like either. definitely not the guitar, bro. <laughs> and I used to be, and I've been I've had this guitar that guitar for ten years. Damn, said so the seven string. Yeah, I've had the seven string wow. since before I graduated high school. Wow, man, and you're you're absolutely mur- that was the first stream with it yesterday, right? Yeah, that was the first time I actually sat down and played that guitar in like a couple of years. That sounded fucking I even, good. I didn't even have the strings on it the other day when I was talking. <laughs> I had five strings on it. <laughs> um, well, I mean, hey, that that little improv session yesterday was was fucking fire. It was totally different. And I like how you you've been switching up, uh, like, not just beatboxing, you know, or not just one one little yeah. diddly, you know. You've been uh, yesterday was metal. The, the week before that, it was with your cousin and uh, yeah, was that? like rap music. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But with that mic with uh, Moon Hooch, Mike from Moon Hooch, right? Yeah, yeah, dude, that was that was awesome. And, I listened back to that like once or twice. Nice. Yeah, and, so I was, it felt like we made those before <laughs> the songs. Yeah, <laughs> yo, the way you were even fucking with his his chops, yeah, I was like, was, oh okay. It's like we got to do this more often. Yeah. No, definitely. And um, is there any? Do you like upload them anywhere? Have you been doing? Have you been allocating? Just a, just only to I just highlight the whole session and then put it on Twitch for right now. Oh, word! But wow. uh, I want to definitely go back and recreate some of the things that we were making. Definitely kind of hoarding ideas on the loop station. Uh, even like what I've been doing too with the with the beat and greets with something like this. Like I'll take them back and. Uh, you know, since it's not copyrighted music or anything like that, and I'm sure people would want to hear from you in the future, and uh, two weeks is not that long of a time for these to be on video of demand. Maybe you should download them and put them on YouTube too, just extra content, because that shit oh, was hey, that was fire. 
I have been lately. I have been since the mic stream. I've been multi streaming to YouTube as well. Oh, okay. Oh, so they are. Do they stay on YouTube forever? Yeah, they'll stay on oh, YouTube. That's as awesome. Like, as an, like an official video or whatever. Oh, okay. I need to look into that instead of. I don't know why. Uh, maybe I don't know. I I just take them and then re-upload them like the week Somebody after. Somebody was telling me about the thing where I don't know if you're supposed to restream once you become a partner or something to a different platform. Oh really? I don't know. That's what somebody was telling me, but I mean, I see other people do that all the time. But yeah, like, one of my friends was like, "Oh, you can't be restreaming if you're a partner." And I'm like, "Uh, I still need to let people know that I'm doing this because <laughs> not everybody knows." No, exactly. And I I feel like Facebook is not it's not the best for <clears throat> the engagement. Like Twitch is is amazing platform for having like this kind of having like garnering a fan base, making it interactive, making it fun for like people to even be in chat. Yeah. Where, whereas Facebook is not really so much catered to that, but it might help bring people. Yeah. yeah that, that already know you, you know? So, um, yeah, man. Uh, is there anything else coming up that you got? Uh, I know, you know, everything's pretty much locked up, but any music that you got, uh, coming out any fucking any new tunes you're excited about or what so um got a collab coming out i don't know when but it's uh on the dl but it's with uh boogie t and dirt monkey oh big boys big hitters yeah i don't know when that's gonna come out i just did the tempo sloth in here hey what's up one of my mods is in here hey tempo tempo sloth uh i just finished tracking the beatbox after I got my microphone back last week, so. Oh, nice. Excited to finally be able to hammer out collabs. I've been like accepting collabs with not the ability to be able to record like a dingus, and then like making me look bad by not doing them. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, sure, dude, you want to work on work on stuff? Send me it, and then like I hold on to it for like a year, and I like this micro my microphone sat around for like two years, and I didn't even get to use it. And I oh, just should have just repaired it two years ago, and I like. I don't know, but. So what's the difference between that microphone and this microphone? Uh, this one is three hundred bucks, and that one's twelve hundred bucks. Oh shit! Okay, okay. Say like no my more. Stu my studio, studio one. Wow. Well, this one sounds good for three hundred bucks. This is the one you bring around on the road, right? The gold one. Yeah. Telefunken. Shout out to them. Fire with the honeycomb. <laughs> the honeycomb color. Yeah. It's the wood grain with the gold. Ooh, sleek. Wood, wood grain. Okay, so uh, hey guys, if you're not if you're not familiar with the beat and greet, um, we're just here waiting for some more submissions to come into Discord. Um, you could use our Discord command, and that has a music submission tab. Just put it right in there. We'll get right to listen. We got the homie Honeycomb, fucking. And also, I don't think people know he produces as well. You know, they might just know him for the beatboxing, and maybe if they caught a set, the piano. Yeah, you know, I'm, uh, slowly dishing it out to everybody. Yeah, he's been um he's been producing for a pretty long time, and 2009? um, two thousand nine. Yeah. Wow. Okay, two thousand nine. He says, "Dear Den, thank you for the raid. I hope y'all as long as as long as I've been producing, I haven't progressed as much as I've wanted to." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but maybe you were uh, technically held back. You were held back technically. Yeah. And I just also didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> That's done. true. That's true. But now Always, everything's a learning thing. Rictus, what's good? Now you're on that good, good. Now you're on that fucking good, good medical and that good, good PC. We're on that the fucking – we're on PCs now. We were we used to be producing on MacBooks, MacBook Pros, MacBook Lights, you know? And now, no, no, no. We're on the PC. Yeah. The, the master race, as they call it, the PC. As soon as you got yours, I was like, maybe within three days, I was like, I have to buy one now. Yo, and you, you showed me up. There, huh? huh? See, you're you're sipping coffee with a straw over I there, got right? it, I got it, you know? Protect the teeth, huh? <laughs> Protect those pearly whites, dude. <laughs> that, was, that was almost a spit take right there. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, some of the fucking times that we've had on the road, like – even even like just GTA in the past couple of days have been fucking hysterical, like belly laughs, dude. The oh, fucking man. museum of sex show, man. The which one? The one, the museum of sex. Oh my god, dude, that was one <laughs> of the first ones too. Museum of sex. One of the weirdest experiences ever. 
<laughs> they go downstairs in the basement and there's just like these weird TVs that are just off but like flashing and then like weird fucking – Crazy. The bouncy house of, of titties. Oh, yeah. Dude. And then you could, like, a, a dildo climbing wall. <laughs> like, dude, like, what the fuck kind of show is this? Bro. And, then, and then they have, like, the dress made of used condoms or something like that. Oh, I or, missed that one. I missed that one, dude. And then, like, the big, huge, long bicycle machine thing, dude. It's, like, from used like, – from, like, the – early 1900s or something like that they had this big you did you walk around and explore i did a little bit but i I maybe have blacked some part of that out of my memory or something you know it was just real kinky it was so crazy and then there was this like the most interesting of people there for sure (laughs) yeah the wook squad i mean we've been around to play some shows dude we played some shows in in not the best of venues not venues at all to be honest but yeah hey we're here we got the studio now. Look at this fucking studio. What happened? The DC Eagle, you know. Oh man, fast forward to the DC Eagle a couple a couple years later. We didn't even know where we were playing. I don't know if you guys know where the DC or what the DC Eagle is, but um, uh, uh, premier leather bar. <laughs> DC's premier <Yes>. leather bar. <laughs> this fucking guy. So, um, what the fuck is up, Denny? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, that was that was a weird time. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but hey, it worked out for the best. I don't know if you guys know what that that is. I don't know if you guys know what uh, DC Eagle is, but it's a uh, good venue though. It just was weird when you like walked around the corner and it's just assless chaps there. Yep. Okay. The merch booth. The merch booth was filled with assless chaps and a, a bucket full of free condoms. So that's the types of places we've had to play. At least they're promoting safe sex, you know? Yeah. Oh, true. True. Dark, dingy, sexual vibes. That's what we give off, I guess. That's what we get booked for. <laughs> oh, shit, man. So, um, you know, uh, fuck, where's this? Where's this? All right, never mind. Never mind. I was going to pull up the band, but it's not working. The band's <laughs> not working. We're gonna make. We're gonna. We're gonna get it working. We're gonna get it working, darling. Thank you for the bits. Provide some some live music, you know, for the band. Provide some live music. True, true. Let me make sure the band works. <laughs> band. The band. Let's go. Let's go. Is it? Yep, yep, let's go, let's hit it. Oh, whoa. What the heck is going on here? (laughs) It's like, yo, time to play music? Mess it up. Mess it up. (laughs) Weird. You know what? My 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 overlay is messed up too, so yeah, so it works out. It yeah. works out, perfect. What the heck is going on here? Um, oh, maybe. Okay, I think I fixed it, but it's all good. We'll, okay, we'll get, to it. we'll get to it. We'll get to it. I'll also add a little. You know what? We can't not we can't not have you playing the diddlies and not have you in there. So I'm gonna add a little freaking um. Where is it? The band. The camera. You're gonna put the camera in there. Yeah, I'm gonna put the camera in there with uh. This little freaking iPad. This little freaking iPad thing. iPhone. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, and then we gotta add this. Add this, 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 add this. Let's go. I like it, bro. And and the overlay's ready now. And the overlay's ready. Ready? Here we go. With the band. With the band. 
Ready? Ripapa. There we go. There he is. The beautiful man, Honeycomb. <laughs> beautiful man, Honeycomb. Alright, if you guys don't know what's going on, it's viewer submission. It's viewer submission. Put your fucking tunes in the Discord. This man's giving us a live set right now. F's in the chat. F's in the fucking chat for Honeycomb. that one out out of nowhere out of nowhere <laughs> Woo! damn okay pick that one up quick pick that one up quick damn all right one more time f's in the chat for honeycomb all right f's in the fucking chat while i fish fix fix fish fix, fix. fix the fish i gotta fix your social handles man it's not working 
We got to promote you right, dog. We got to promote you fucking right, dog. There we go. That should work, I think. Bam, bam, bam. Honeycomb socials. That should work. So, 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 so. <laughs> oh man, it's kind of scary. At any time, we could be turned into a loop. To a loop. To a loop. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, so we got any questions for um for uh, my homie Honeycomb? Any questions for the man? Because right now we're still waiting on a couple more music submissions. Throw them right in the Discord. We got Smokeland. We got Aptic. We got a couple of the heavy hitters. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see if, if the, the music's... All right. Optic in there, too. Optic in there. Five star. All right. You know what? We could get into some tunes. You ready to get into some tunes? We can get back into the, the instrument... Uh, La, 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 interview scene. It doesn't take long. We could just take a quick little trip back in our. So, okay, so then answer the questions that people are asking earlier, later. Or yeah, we could we could save them up for later. Um, okay. we could keep asking people that because there's a couple of music uh submissions in here for now. Unless you All got right. some stuff to talk about. I've been in the hot box before you brought me to the hot box, dog. I know, man, but uh, you know what? I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. You're you're the one. Taking over the conversation, actually, I appreciate it. Look at you, man, smoking, you. smoking the medical, fucking <laughs> creating the loops. I forgot what some of the the hot keys are too. So <laughs> we might end up in places that we're not meant to be. We're, all, we're always supposed to be there. We're always supposed to be here. Look. Yep. <laughs> Ah, all right, so you guys know where to put them, where to put the We're fucking. The band, uh, where are we going? Not to a show. <laughs> We're still practicing social distancing. Look at this dude; he's smoking a joint while hitting the dab, bro. Hey, smoking. It looks like we're parked, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Just worry about yourself. And we're still <laughs> in the medical state too, so they can't tell us shit. We didn't cross state lines or nothing. All right, guys. You we're gonna start off with the smoke alarm. I ain't trying to get pulled over, especially right now, if you know what I mean. What do you mean? I'm not trying to get pulled get driving while black. Get out of here. <laughs> GWBs exist, y'all. <laughs> Man, you just fix your car up too. I know. No, 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 not for that shit. No. Fourteen hundred dollars. Nah. Not today. Not today. Not, not today. 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 Okay. Another smokeland? Is that what we got? Another fucking smokeland track. <laughs> you like that, GWB? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where's the studio at? Number eight. It's over here. Okay. We're going to open up our first fucking tune of the night. Unless you guys got a, uh, another question for the man, another There's question a for him. There's there, but I mean, oh, you we, see can him? Talk, we can talk about him later. Oh, you, you see him? Do you want to? What, do you see him? You get? You feel free to answer. I, I might have missed uh, one or two of them too. Sometimes they uh, highlight them, ask me anything, and I don't, I don't right. see any well, of those. Based by five star said, "Where do you seek your inspiration?" Oh, and uh, so you know what? Let me ask. Let me refer. Hey, honeycomb. I thought of a question. Oh, did you? What is it? Where do you seek your inspiration from? Where do I seek my inspiration from? Uh, well, let's start it off for the beatbox stuff. There's a, I take a, a bunch of different inspirations for a bunch of different st stuff that I do. So for the beatbox, big inspirations for me, Rozelle, the one of the originators of the the one man and one mic. He's just it was very inspiring to see him be able to go on stage and do. Everything you needed to do for a whole performance with just just the microphone, nothing else, and that, that really drew me into the performance aspect of it. Was that's he, why? I, was he the up? dude that's like, um, if your mother only knew? Is that him? The Yeah. Okay. All right. I do recognize that. I recognize that. Has it was he... cool. I, I did a cover of one. Of, I did a cover of that on. Uh, one of my uh, streams, and he popped in and was like, "This is fucking fire!" No way. 
Yeah, and, and I, was, I was doing another one too, and he's like, "I need those stems." What? Yeah, I was like, "Holy shit!" Damn. So is he like, um, is he one of the first people that kind of mainstreamed that? Because I, I definitely remember that video going so viral back in the day. You know? Uh, or did you def- just see him and he was just an inspiration for you? All, all three of those people, balling. I was exactly gonna say. He said, "Reggie Watts, Beardy Man, Carry It." Carry it. <laughs> That's fucking funny. And you know what? Two out of two out of three of those guys now, or what? What is it? I know all those guys. Oh, really? Okay, perfect, man. Yeah, Reggie's, a, Reggie's a good buddy. Every time, any anytime I'm around, he's he says what's up. Nice. And uh, Beardy Man, he's we're we're cool. I met him at Shambhala. I got to tell him that he was a big inspiration for me. Hey. I mean, he's hilarious, and he does like just infinite loops of nothing, and it's just like the craziest shit. And that's what I strive to be for a looper. Yeah, for sure. Watts for the same reason. I mean, he just makes makes shit up, and it's just hilarious. And we'll like just do some random noise, and then make a song make out a of song, like, out of song, like, and nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's so cool. I I um, think you've definitely you got that flair too, and the the comedy aspect. You're you like lean into that. You know, you just got that personality where it's like uh, it's like you just make things funny too. You know, and, trying to trying to t- take from what I know from all the other people that I inspired make it my own you know so when you said um i'm sorry what was his name what was the first guy's name zell was yeah yeah when you did you see him live or did you, did you catch the video that everyone saw uh i've seen him live a bunch of times oh he really? comes he comes out to the american beatbox champ so i've been a part of that community since like 2000 early 2013 maybe and he's goes to every year at the american beatbox champs he's there like he comes he comes for at least a day he comes says what's up says hi to everybody he knows all the beatboxers like beatbox community super fam- family like it's, it's really like you, you were you a judge there or were you doing like media and stuff com- com- competing for the oh. first i was competing for the first few years i didn't really do do good i would get into the top 16 a couple times and just would lose first round a lot. Well, and I'm like, I'm not trying to have videos of me losing online. And oh, I was just yeah. like, you know, it's like, yeah. <laughs> well, you they, can look them up. It's like, they're there, honeycomb, beatbox battles, and some of their, me losing did everyone. You, did, you end up, <laughs> did you end up doing media for them? Or what were you doing last year? Was that something else in Amsterdam or something? Um, yeah. So a couple, there's a different beatbox channel called Swiss Beatbox. And I was part of the media team for a couple of years out there. Oh. Go, Go out to Switzerland and I'd film the beatbox battle. Oh, it was in Switzerland. Oh shit! Yeah, Switzerland man. for for like we I did that for like three three four years or something like that. Three years. Damn. Consecutive, and then I missed the last last one, and this one was canceled. Uh, I remember you showing me some videos of them, and then I wound up like taking. Uh, I think you actually showed me, um, fuck, something earthquake or something like that. Is that a guy's name? Was it? Napalm. Oh, napalm, napalm. napalm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I wound up like looking into him and a couple of the other videos of the people competing, man, and just some of that shit is insane, dude. It's like, oh, okay. All yeah, right. That's a whole nother level. Like, it's like, I'm okay, but like in comparison to like some of the other shit that people are doing, it's like crazy. It's, I think you, you add like, like you said, like the different aspect of it. Like, Beardy Man, uh, would, would Reggie Watts or Beardy Man compete in one of those kind of things? No. Oh, yeah, they, they're, they're more of, is there a different kind of, uh, they're just Umbrella? their own first, their own thing. You exactly. Know? Like, okay. So, we'll go to the next beatbox inspiration is uh, for me. Reaps one. It's like a beatboxer from UK, and um, he also is one man, one mic, and um, just he he definitely pioneered like the dubstep style of of beatboxing. Oh, and who, what's his name again? Reaps one. Reaps one. Okay, I've never heard of him. Yeah, it's like the he's on another level with beatboxing. He like created an AI program of his own voice so he can beatbox battle himself. What? Yeah, he's like beatboxed at the World Economic Forum for like all world leaders. He did like a big performance. What? Yeah, it's like he's taking beatbox to the next level. Like it's really, really inspiring stuff. Like taking beatbox and then creating freestyle images in digital space from his voice what the, so like like deep faking of beatbox i mean without looking i don't know if it's actually like his face but it's like him it's an ai program that he'll, he'll beatbox and it can respond or jam jam with wow it's on, on a next level beatbox stuff like, wow i gotta check this guy out man shit that i 
don't it's like I don't, I don't even touch none of that kind of stuff. He's like it's crazy. I got to I'm I'm interested in just that AI shit, bro, cuz that's oh, yeah, crazy. There's a song bass actor too. Really? Reborn? Yeah. Oh, what shit. What okay. Is what is it called? Do you guys know what it's called? I forgot. Cuz Temple Sauce is the one who said that I forgot that. Oh, uh, okay. And and Darlin Sugary said she knew the name too. She knows that name. I'm sure yeah. it's cuz of bass actor. Once he, once somebody says a name, I'm gonna be able. I'm, just, I'm about to type, look it up. Wh- yeah, Whiplash. Oh yeah. shit, man. Yeah, Whiplash. That's him. Yo, all right, we gotta check that shit out because uh, that sounds insane, man. I know, I know, Kareen's doing his his crazy thing, like you're doing your crazy thing, but to have it pushed like that too, like, all right, all right, we see, we see where it could go, you know. Yeah. Because uh, I guess we haven't found all the noises we can make with our mouth. No, it's everybody's making up new noises all the time. It's crazy. That's that was crazy about what you showed me in the the Switzerland videos. Was some of like the Asian dudes in there were like just making like robotic noises with their they're like singing robotically or some weird shit, you know? I mean, definitely, uh, Japan is on another level in China and stuff. Like some of the beep, if you go and you guys look up Grand Beatbox Battle, <clears throat> it was Korean Beatbox Battle. No, Grand Beatbox oh, Battle. Grand. Okay. It's, it's the, like the premier beat, beatbox battle of like the year. Every year they have it, and all they pick. It's a video submission battle, uh, where they pick like sixteen of the best people, and then they make have them battle and stuff. Damn, bro. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a nice little. Um, I don't know. It's kind. It kind of goes with this music too. I feel like it. It like would blend so perfectly, like on top of some electronic shit or some of the stuff that they're doing. I mean, I guess anything it would blend on top, well, on top of anything. But uh, to know that it's such a small niche right now, like the the possibilities are endless, man. I think it needs to. Uh, There's definitely a lot of room for shit to go down. With yeah, the for sure. For real. I th- I think it's dope that uh the bass music community is kind of embracing it too. You know, have you felt yeah. that it, it's more? You've been embraced here more than like the metal side of things or have you even tried to integrate it into there? Uh, the bass scene has been the reason how I've been able to create a name for myself for sure. If it wasn't for like the bass shows and like me trying to do like dubstep E or like bass oriented beatbox and I don't think it would, I would be doing it cause I don't know. It's just like, <clears throat> it just made the most sense for me to try to beatbox in the bass scene. Cause I don't see, there's not very many other, people who are like trying to do it yeah it's like so i'm like there's a really open open lane yeah no definitely man i feel like mo- most if not all producers are aware of like your talents out there too your ability to like just get on somebody's get on a track too you could just jump up with somebody and just fucking get yeah. on you know it's very everyone set nothing up so it's just like oh you want me beatbox over it cool <laughs> easy say it's like it wasn't really hard it wasn't hard for me to Try to because a lot of it was convincing the sound guy to let me go on. True. Like, yo, just let me do it, please. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, then, dude. And shout out to all the sound dudes who gave me the <laughs> opportunity. You can see, also see the first time I performed on on stage on YouTube if you search Honeycomb at Bellaterra 2012. Wow. You can see the first time I ever performed beatbox on stage. Bellaterra, huh? What a throwback, man. That's a, that's a crazy name drop. RIP Bellaterra. <laughs> <laughs> bass yeah, so whistle. Th- Is that a bass whistle? I don't know what he means, but <laughs> that's a bass whistle I know how to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Five Star says, Is that an Alex Gray screensaver oh, in the background yeah. on that TV? No, it's not a TV. That's a. Uh... What do you got back there? That's a pin board? Oh, yeah. Pin board, and then that's a tapestry. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, that was man. just. That was just. Uh, uh, the beat, the beatbox inspiration. There's like I got so much other inspiration. I could talk about inspiration stuff for mad long. <laughs> is it is uh does most of it come from like other shit or do people just I mean, pigeonhole you into the beatboxing or metal? Metal is like a big inspiration for like how I do my drum patterns and this like the intensity of the of the beatbox. Yeah, you can I, you can kind I of was tell. metal band doing vocals and stuff when I was thirteen. 13 to like 17 or something like that in a band called the faded line with my buddy kyle zach and tim <laughs> doing that and we did it for like our my junior year t- like talent talent show or something like that we did the metal thing and i 
did a remix of one of the kids' names in, in my class. It was like, Rob Shea, screaming it to my class. And nobody really knew, like, I did that stuff. It was really definitely really weird. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, dude, maybe it's a good thing that never caught on, you know, because you just took that inspiration, kept rolling with it, and just made it into a, a, a whole other platform. But you clearly yeah. still have that kind of, that vibe, you know? Maybe even just, like, aesthetically what you wear, the nails, the, the fucking uh, the fucking tattoos and shit, but, yeah. uh, you know. I, I love metal, metal before anything for me is, like, that's, like, my roots. And yeah. then jazz. Mad jazz. Like, Herbie Hancock, like, one of my number one favorite artists. Fuck Yeah. You, you, is that where you keys. get inspiration for keys? Yeah, I was just gonna ask. Dude, yeah, of course. He's the, he's the best. It's true. Like, so good, dude. For real, it's it's weird that you have such a. I mean, not weird. It's it's. Well, awesome. It's weird for sure. It's it, like a broad yeah. aspect. Of music. No, definitely. Like, but that's that's perfect. Yeah. Because I'm not, I don't hate it for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Um, you know, it's definitely one of the things that I've been like. Whenever someone brings you up, I I'm like. Do you know he plays keys? You know he does this shit? You know, like, I try to, like, you know, let people know of all the other shit. The beatbox is so dope, too. But then when you come in and, like, I think Twitch has really fucking helped that and show showcase that, you know? Let yeah. alone, like, the the creative side of things. But just, like, clearly this isn't something new. This isn't something you just picked up, uh, you know, because it was a fad. You know, like, you, you're very well-versed in music as a whole, you know? Yeah, I appreciate that. No problem, dude. Of course. And it's been it's fucking been awesome to to be uh doing this shit with you, you know? Yeah. From twenty dollars to here, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> twenty bucks. It's like if that, maybe. Bro. There were, yeah, there were shows where they were like, All right, we didn't make anything at the door, so you're not gonna make anything, you know? Yeah, I mean okay. I've I've like the, any ticket there's ticket shows where I'm just like I paid for all the tickets. Oh, and, didn't even, and didn't even give them out to anybody sometimes. I'm just like, it's like, oh, you end up owing bread. And it's like, I hate going and making an effort to sell tickets. I'm like, yeah. Making posts about it. Hey, everybody, I'm doing this show on such and such a day. You got, buy tickets for me. They're only $25 or yeah. like something like that. It's like, got to think of a witty way to promote it or something. And then anybody who's going to a show who usually buys a ticket before a show unless you know it's going to sell out. People yeah. usually buy the day before and then they tell you you can't sell your tickets outside the door before you get – you know what I mean? He's like you got to show up six hours before the show starts and hand in your tickets. You know? Like, yeah. But if it wasn't for those ticket shows, it's like those are the, the – the molding days. Yeah, you cut you, you like you cut your teeth on that kind of shit. You know, you you like grind out. You kind of realize where you are too, and how, uh, you know, the, I think you get into this. I don't know about you, but I think there's like a, a uh, sense of like self importance when you get into this. Like, come on, why isn't everyone catching on to me? Why, you know, like this this show should be packed out. I'm better than X, Y, and Z or whatever. You know, in your head at least, and you're like. Yeah. There before, you know? It's yeah. Like, oh, you got to get humbled a little bit, brought back down. You're like, all right, you know what? Got to sleep in my car. Got to eat almost nothing, PB&J maybe, you know? Yeah. But, you know, I think that's what led us to being here and also kind of seeing the uh, opportunity that Twitch has. And, yeah. you know, to reach these people because we have a lot of different, like, fan bases, but in spread out, you know? We might have five here, ten here. It's because we, we did those shows to three people, yeah. you know? It's like, oh, I drove 15 hours to play for 15 people in Tennessee. And now it's like, all right, now everyone could join at one time. It doesn't have to be when I'm specifically in your town once a year or twice a year, you know? Yeah. We live in fucking Boston. When's the last time you played in here, you know? I don't know. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, it's been over a year. I mean, I guess I played Wonder Bar, but before that, it was over a year. And Wonder, and it's Wonder Bar, you know, like that's not the homie spot. Yeah, we want to be, we want to be a like Big Night Live or something, you know. Be growing from those places. You know, some, <laughs> sometimes two steps forward. Slowly but surely, we're getting there, though. You know, it's like yeah, you gotta chip away at the old block. Yeah. No, I, th I'm, I saw a twenty dollar mention in here, so I think we just had to explain the twenty dollars. We're always posting that shit on each other's fucking. Oh uh, yeah, it's like, oh, what's up with the twenty bucks? Because <laughs> <laughs> we ain't making shit. <laughs> yeah, that's the number we used to make on shows, bro. Twenty dollars, bro. Twenty dollars. I need twenty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stream says I'm playing You guys for a flashlight now, so I'm just. But you know, I'm not paying, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Um, <clears throat> thank you for thank you for letting me know tempo. Um, I just switched it. It was saying we were playing Grand Theft Auto. You know we're role playing a little bit here though. We role play <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> All right, guys. So this also is 
you know, to to remind y'all, this is the um, beat submission, the fucking beat submission uh, stream. Uh, we got a few people in here that have already submitted beats, a couple from last week that we didn't get to, and um, yeah, just throw them in the music submission right in our Discord right here. We got the big homie, the big homie Honeycomb. We'd love to listen to some of your tunes. Um, let me check where we were last time. background drum beats yeah hey hey it's never a bad hey. thing never a bad thing sam wise thank you for the bits paul thank you for the bits we got some bits in here we got uh i saw a couple more raids thank you bright hell yeah the deer den squad holding it down um let's start off with, i think i got a oh i just got a big ass new mixer nice sticky hands what'd you get what'd you get so um you want to get into some tunes right now you want to get in some tunes let's do it all right, brother. <clears throat> if you got any more questions for us, let them, let them know too, man. We'll we'll, we'll take there note. Was a, there, there was another one. I could go. I could go so deep on inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> it was there another question? Did you like? Uh, do you remember it, or should I look for it? Uh, but um, it's. I think I. Uh, maybe I don't see if I can find it. I don't think. Uh, I think I'm. I think I refreshed my page, so okay. I can't go back. Find it, but all right. So, hey, if anybody got a fuck, oh wait, that's not it. Oh, I remember what it was. It was what, what kind of mic am I using? I think. What kind of mic? And it was a Telefunken M80 microphone. It's a beautiful mic. Did you get it custom colored, or did, did they have that option? Um, yeah, they had this option. Oh, it just happened to match your steez, your gold steez. Normally, I have like an all gold one, but I've literally, uh, for some reason, when I sw I think because I'm sweating a lot. On the microphone, it kind of it, it, it's a little deteriorated when I'm using it. <laughs> so I like this one because I can sweat my ass off because I'm do like super long beatbox sessions and like by the time it's over, it's like destroyed. Yeah, damn. Well, the yeah. wood looks nice, bro. The wood looks nice. It's uh, yeah, like looks it. like it's been holding up well. Yep, I got a, I got a couple of, a couple other M80s. This is the only microphone that I would use for stage. So oh shit. Well, like uh, Bolin said he it was him, and he said the Telefonic 180. Telefunken. I'll Telefunken. Type it. Okay, okay. 180 though. That's the that's the right number. M80. M80. Okay. Nice. Same sweaty ass. Tempo Sloth called you a sweaty ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So let me send you this tune too. Uh, we're gonna have to do what we do at Essex, and I'm gonna send you the tune. Um, yep. Let me open up this chat from my man. Well, on, you're sending it on. Uh... Um, yeah, I'll send it on Facebook. Oh, what's going on here? I thought I just exited out of the thing. Oh, Facebook, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let me know when you uh, queue it up. Cool. I f I f all right, I feel like I. Okay, nice. Let's get it. All right, I'm about to mute my mic. Mute yours, and uh, what are we going to start up right now? Okay, ready? Here we go. First one of the day, we got Champa, Smokeland Remix. Let me know if it sounds good.
go smokeland always coming through with the fuck that was heat. gas yeah that was smokeland always coming through with the heat um, all right <clears throat> go, can you link us your soundcloud uh smokeland i highly suggest everyone go follow them they just yeah, hit six thousand. Yeah. i think the last stream we were on right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah link us your SoundCloud, brother probably drop it through deadbeats fuck yeah man we love to hear it yeah super cool man that was really good yeah De definitely no arrangement criticism or any really thing i mean that's a really good tune yeah man that uh solid the yeah. mixing mix, that mix is great like the lead bass was dope that fucking thing that one crazy triplet thing at the, towards the end variation thing was super dope i really love cool. i love how it like drops into something and then goes into something else like it's like it kind of stops again after this ready you're like okay dope 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 I'm having a hard time hearing you for some reason. Oh, okay, hold on. Right there. Right there. I don't know why. Right there. Maybe it's because I got the music playing too. Was I sharing my screen? Is it yeah, better right. now? Now we're good. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's because I was playing music probably in the background. All right, yeah. You were coming in a little bit. Damn. Wrong, so Glenn. That was really good. <laughs> yeah, that one was uh, fucking gas, man. Um, Literally, like, I don't know what to say sometimes when some of these tracks come in, you know? It's just like, all right, we just got to listen to them. That's it. Yeah, there's nothing you're going to really say about that. I mean, yeah. Fire. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's nothing. It had the perfect amount of, That's like, the, danceability. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so good. Perfect amount of danceability, tech, all that shit, bro. Um, So let me see what we got coming up, too. We got... Pow, 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 pow. Um, 529. Was that last week? Okay, wow. okay. We had Immuniv, we had Elevate Music, we got Elevate Music in here, or we got Aptic. I know we got Five Star, cause, so we could go to Five Star. Five Star right. and Optic, we All could right. go so to. So right, before we even know, go, I already know it's going to be Mondays, because he's been crushing these submissions. Dude. Dude, for real. He has been. Anybody from the, the um, Deer Den got some stuff for us? Uh, Who the fuck was that? That was Smokeland. Yeah, that was Smokeland. Here, I'm going to send you this one. This is based by Five Star. Oh, he sent us whips. Not only just one. Oh, okay, we got one from you, too. Nice. We got one from Honeycomb. All right, so um, Discord. Everyone throw your tunes in the fucking Discord. Okay, we got a music submission um, tab. Um, and Honeycomb, what do you want? You want to start off with uh, Unda? Sure. Okay. Let's listen to Unda. Ready? Maybe it's Unda. Unda. It might be Unda. I don't know why I put a fucking accent on it. <laughs> no. All right. Let's do it. All right. Here we go. Right into it.
it's so good. Insane, bro. Uh, I know. It's so like, quick, too. Uh, you about to be huge, dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for real. Five Star, he's been um, putting together apparently like an hour or two. He's, he's been like... Uh, no beef? Of, I think, yeah, of originals. He's been looking to uh, put it out through like... Um, through like a deer den set and talking about like of a like a girth gang fest or some shit like that you know something that we all put we put together some of these yeah because these tunes are i mean dude definitely would send these to some people if you send me some songs try to get some of these signed out because these are crazy that's what i'm well he's he's good friends with he's the one that's good friends with uh or he lives in nola you know so we definitely need the s fam hookup right there do that immediately like you're, you're about to be huge though yeah nah for so, real come on like it's really it's like like s fam shit it's like weird bass shit it's fucking fought super heavy uh, so it was really good yeah <laughs> there, there's there's um you see you see the rest of these they're, they're all like kind of a minute long and like the late the late time fucking bleep, 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 thing of, yeah so gas yeah i love that shit bro yeah, we're gonna listen to another one. Yeah, let's. Uh, I'll listen. To, uh, which one next? Do you have anyone in particular you want us to listen to? Five star out of this, um, so. cause they're all like less than a minute. That one was a minute. Like you, you, like you do, bro. You just keep us wanting more. These short songs, you know, it's perfect. At I, I think that's just where we're at right now with with music. You know, is like short songs being easily digestible. It's just perfect. like. You, sh- you get stream monies easy yeah, too true. because people will be like that is so gas i have to listen to that like a hundred times in order to get your fix that's true that's what i'm feeling honestly you know it's like, like give me more of that like, no. <laughs> yes. so good okay so he said shaken um let me get this real quick shaking one of them in there yeah he could give you okay yeah let's listen to shaken then this is real quick all right, all right here we go boom Yeah, that's fucking, dope. He teased All these are going to be like huge. Dude, for real. And these are just like, they're just like ideas right now, too. You could just, just feel hammers. where they're going. Yeah. Fucking hammers. That one just ended right as uh, you're teasing it, you know? Well, in the, it's it's just like, like in the these middle. These on a big system are going to be absolutely incredible. Oh, my God. No, hell yeah, man. I, um. But these are fours or like huge E Forest. Yeah. 15,000. Quick transitions. Just done. Right well, into the I, next one. No, I definitely got to extend these because these are <laughs> great. Yeah, no, I totally agree with him, man. Uh, you could tell that they're just ideas right now, too, and that's how you know. You're like, the it, seemed it, a little bit more done mix-wise than this one, but they're both are still super dope. Yeah. This one looks like a brick, though. If you look at it, it's like, damn, okay. Yeah. All right. It's not going to have a problem being loud. No, it's loud as fuck. I did turn it down a little bit. Yeah. So, but not like in a bad way. It's just like I'm going to wake up my roommates. Yeah, no, <laughs> for real, for real. I don't want to redline. <laughs> but Under, dude, Under was fire to the idea. The whole idea seemed like it was there. And it literally could be a minute long almost, you know? Like that one sounds like it could be I just. I could have ended there and I was like, that was the song. And I would have just played it again probably four or five more times in a row. 100%. 100%. Get you the get, yeah, stream bread. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh honestly his his whole I like the aesthetic right here. You're following some kind of the same same movement with uh what are those Roman statues or something? Marble yeah. statues, yeah, with the five star. Yeah, so get everyone go give him a, a fucking follow. Man's been killing it every week. Like every single week. Um yeah. everything that I've heard on here has been bunnies. Dude, amazing. Gen we got Gen Chow, we got Optic, we got Aptic, we got Elevate too. 
Um, drop the link. Where do I send it? Uh, you could send it to our Discord. Please and thank you. Indal, you got you. You want to post us? Post it in a Discord, please. And I'll fucking open you up after. We got emulative. We got elevate. Who I don't know is if is here. He's usually here. And we got optic. Do we got optic? Should we start off with him? Sure. Oh, wait, let me see. This man's here. Is the man's here? <laughs> I think after, you know, taking last week, making it a weird, having, okay, Optic isn't here, and Indol is coming with his. If you got people in here that you, you want uh, their tracks to be heard, let them know. To come on in here. Fucking throw, throw us some tunes. I think not doing it last week maybe threw some people off, you know? Because we were getting some constant submissions for uh, even, like, the weeks prior. Like, uh, I'd see it on Monday and Tuesday, people dropping in a submission or two. But, um, you know, we're getting back into it. Slowly but steady. Slowly but steadily. And we got Optic in here, so we ain't mad at the submissions we did get. This is fucking, these are gas. I didn't even hear it. I know it's gas. Let me send this to you, brother. The suspense? The suspense. I'll put one in there. Okay. Sticky hands. Yes, please. Bam. Gable. And we got the Gable one, too. So we got a, a fucking... We got the gas right now. <laughs> All right. You ready to cue this up? Uh, the optic one, right? Tempo. Um, Should this be... No, it's anything. Anything. If you want feedback on it, if you want us to hear it, um, dude, whatever you want. Yeah, it's the optic one. All right. Tempo. Whatever you're feeling, my man. All right. Let's go. Suspense V3. So I heard it. Oh, I didn't hear this one.
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. That was really cool. The, the lead reminded me of like some resi type stuff. Yeah, definitely. She she makes um like a uh, the same same bass sound very not repetitive. You know, it sounds fresh every time. You know, and I think you did the same thing there. That was that was really good. There was like a little maybe variation towards the end in terms of the bass wobble, but honestly, I, I didn't get sick of it. It's three minutes thirty seconds, so it's not the, long at all. The jungle and the drum and bass stuff is really cool. Yeah, I think give, the, the the mid bass was a little a little a little harsh, so, so maybe it could come maybe it could come down like a little bit. Yeah, it's maybe got that trash on it or something. It's got a isotope or some kind of saturator or distortion, which I mean fits the vibe. Yeah, it does fit the vibe, especially like right here, like this, this, like very. It's it sounds like the Smokeland beat we just listened to right here. Ready? It's dope. Just like that driving. Sick. Yeah, that's that's perfect, honestly. Um, Is he following? Does it have to be SoundCloud link? Um, what do you have? Tempo doesn't have to be, but as long as I'm not as long as I'm not like downloading anything, the main sound needs to be a little more processed and mixing. Yeah, I love it. I, I love it too, man. Um, how far into the mixing and mastering process is that? Is this um, it's like a done tune? It's like done. Is it uh, you still working on it, Optic? Cause, dude, you're always coming in here with the heat. That song "Tension" on Optic Sound's profile is crazy. Yeah, dude, a bunch of them, man. He he's got he's got the fucking heat on so many of these tunes. Wow, that looks really good. And that's why I don't know if he uh if if this one's just an idea one day, two days, you know. So sometimes that that also affects the kind of feedback that I'd have on a track. Um, is shit like bugging out. Am I, am I lagging? What the fuck? Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of character animate. Um, still working on it. Okay, yeah, no, I mean obviously the, the fucking tracks are always done, but you know, if if the tune is like a day old, my my advice or the way I'd look at it is completely different than if it was a fucking. A finished mix and mastered almost to be sent out to a place track style track um indol with the general chow with the fucking submission do we have the old adam is that you who's the old adam is that sticky hands oh it's sticky hands yep 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 okay we got sticky hands we got aptic we got a couple more people with the tune submission you know where to put them you know where to put them, if anything. I'm going to send this one to you, Honeycomb. Um, I could pick any of my songs. Which one would you want us to to watch, man? Which one do you want us to see? Okay. We'll cue it. Some bass, hopefully. Play the half of it. All right, we could do this one. Let your, let your heart hit play. All right, let's go. Let your heart, baby. You got this one? Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. We're going to queue it up. Let's go. The one I submitted is an oldie. Okay, Jen.
That was trippy as fuck. Yeah, no, that was. Um, I liked, I liked the fucking ambiance too of it. It was a different yeah. vibe, bro. That was cool. Yeah, it was really, tri- tripped me out a lot. <laughs> That's why I took a trip to the fucking the hot box over here, huh? That you did? Yeah, I'm in the hot box because I think oh, that song nice. deserved it. That, that was really deserved. cool. The computer stuff yeah. was great. I mean, that was definitely I, I, like a different type of music i feel like yeah i liked um i liked how chill it was it's we don't always need the the crazy bass in your face type stuff and you know i think this is the first submission you've given us sticky hands um so i don't have anything else to base it off of you know um i don't know if the rest of your music is like that as well but uh i fuck with it i fuck with the lo-fi it's given us a nice little change of uh over the mix and stuff it was cool and, and uh, the uh, vocals, that's what I meant to ask you. Uh, was that you singing or something, or was that a sample, or what What were you, um, what was that right there? Because that, uh, that was nice. It added a nice little touch and a nice little sense of, like, I don't want to say, like, professionalism, but it's, it, like, a nice touch of, um, I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that could be said about purely electronic music. You know, there's a lot of people who just don't like it in general. They just write it off before they even really delve into it. And I think that's a nice thing for people to get started with. You know, that's something that uh, it could it could convert a few people. You know, convert a few non-electronic heads into being like, okay, I might like this. I might like this stuff. I think Honeycomb's good at doing that as well. You know, okay. as like branching that, connecting that those two branches, making EDM a little more palatable. I want to listen to more of that album. Yeah, man. You uh, did you link us your your SoundCloud and your Bandcamp? I don't know if you have a SoundCloud in here. Okay, it's just your Bandcamp. It seems. All right, man. Fuck yeah, we're gonna we're gonna smoke one up for you. Cause that was that was a nice little tune. You know where to put the tunes if you got one. You want this this freaking guy, Honeycomb. To listen to your tune right now while he's taking a fatty dab. Let's get a dab command in the chat too. I should have renamed that honeycomb, but he's already at 120% of his coupon code. I'm not. I'm not changing the honeycomb command. Okay. All right. We got a couple more in here. Um, Beats by Blocka. How you doing? You got anything for us today? I, I want to play Aptic because Aptic always comes through with the heat too. But he, I don't know if he's here. He did put it in like yesterday. He's usually here. That's right. I got the sun teacher. What's good? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to flex my old school bright side merch for the stream. <laughs> those were actually, dude, those were um, like misprints or something like that. Yeah, I know. It's like a little off center or something. Yeah, it was like negative too. Like I didn't even get it like that. And then they're like, "All right, we'll just print you the other one." So we just have a couple of those floating around in circulation. Hey, ain't nobody got this. That's right. All right. <laughs> you, you ain't got this. Yeah, for real. For real. <laughs> I think we just wound up giving them out to people at, at uh, Bisco that year, right? That's yeah. when you got it. Yep. Damn, bro, Bisco. Bisco. Yeah, man, that was so cool, dude. You close it out, man, Ooh. and then be, the whole thing. There's so many people there, dude. Yeah. It's crazy. 
Dude, that was that was a wild night, bro. We're still trying to recreate that shit. But dude, hey, that was unbelievable night, dude. Yeah, nah, dude. I, I missed uh, super I missed high and beatbox with you the whole time. <laughs> At like fucking super late night, I was rip, f- zooming. It was after Nectar and Tipper too. It was after a whole shitload of crazy stuff. Zooming, zooming. Like ah, uh, you gonna beatbox? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro. Jeez. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this too. So cheers, everybody. Major cloggage. <laughs> Major Looks like cloggage. He, he, you still have the duct tape pipe? <laughs> that it? No, but my my bowl is broken again. So it might as well be bu- duct tape. Yeah, it looks like you gotta put a little bit of alcohol in that pipe there. <laughs> Why don't you show everybody what that looks like? I'm not gonna show nobody. I'm ashamed. <laughs> You're like, I'm trying to hit it off stream because I'm trying to get that partner. <laughs> and I'm ashamed of how dirty it is. No, you gotta show people, man. You gotta let people know what you're working with, man. Uh, I'm working with shit. It's terrible. It's rezzed up. No time to clean it. I got a quick glimpse over here. <laughs> <coughs> like I'm hitting this below the dashboard You niggas can't see Yeah you can't see Fuck it <laughs> <laughs> You might be able to Because we're screen sharing We're video chatting no, I got a glimpse of it y'all And he doesn't want to show it It's Trust not pretty me. It's not pretty <coughs> oh. Oh. oh All right Um. We got Jen Chow Chat gonna have to gift you a new one dude Chat has gifted me so much. It's good. Let's go, bro. We appreciate chat. I need to actually invest in my music stuff. The weed. Get- I need a new bong. I need a new fucking APC. My APC's been shit in the bed every fucking Sunday. I have a bong I can give you. A bong? <laughs> Thank you, bro. <clears throat> we need to invest. We need a girth bong. We need a fucking girth bong. All right, let me see if I sent this one to you. This shit blow him with girth bong. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, oh, it. no, you want to hit it? You want to hit it, bro? If you want to hit it, we could hit it. We got General Chow in there, and it'll just give us some more time to ask if uh, anybody's got some music. You could throw it in our fucking Discord right now. Do a little. I'll do something. This guy's got. All right, he's got a little something for us. Okay. Got a little something for us, he said. All right, mute your ness. Okay. <clears throat> The short whip. All right, Jen Chow, we're gonna get right to it.
Some Herbie inspiration right there, right in the middle of the fucking sets, huh? Maybe. Right in, <laughs> right in the middle. Uh, right in the middle yeah. of some bass submissions, we get some fucking Herbie Hancock inspiration right there. Why they for the bass? Wait, uh-huh. what happened? You're, you're, you're it's like gating or something. Is it? Talk again. Let me hear. Yo. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I think it's good. <sighs> Oh, you got echo on it or something? Do I? I don't know. I just heard the cough like three times. Like, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. I okay, I think it's good. It's good. It's fine. I hear. I hear you good anyway. Okay. So it's good, bro. Yo, that was fire. That had chat going up a little bit too, man. It was looping the. There's like you know, there's like a little bit of air noise coming from your end. Oh, really? It, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, are you so, getting yourself in there? What do you mean? Um, are you getting your voice? Is that what you're talking about? Is it like reverb or, or no, what is it? There's like ambient noise oh, coming really? from from you. Oh, shit. Is my, is my shit too loud or something? No, I just think for some reason it just like went. But when, until I told you to mute it, it was like it just like the first three channels have like the. Okay. Air. Okay. I understand why you said mute it. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, maybe my mic's coming in a little hot or something. These, like, these Discord shits are, they're always fucking up. I mean, the OBS shits are always fucking up. Yeah. I have to reset it sometimes during stream. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so. We'll get back in the studio and start listening to some of these, uh, some more of these viewer submissions. Because that was, psh, that was a viewer submission from Honeycomb. And it gets two thumbs up. Two thumbs, four thumbs up. He got two, two. <laughs> tutu. Tutu. All right. So right now we got a uh, one from General Chow. Let's get it. General fucking Chow. He was he's been hysterical on GTA roleplay too. GTA bro in the house. <laughs> Beast by Blocka, how you doing? <clears throat> this has no loud master. Okay, so I'm I'll just turn it up. Well, I'll just remember to turn it up. If it's gonna be lower. All right, General. We ready to start it? You ready to start it? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, General Chow. Jesus, I love it. I love the really open space. I love that one right there too. That that it's like 
it's not on the one. It's like a, you know, yeah. and it's like a what? It's on the end. Oh, the end. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like an answer to it. Bro, that's literally the sound. You were answering. Oh, my God, bro. Hold on. Go over that. <laughs> bro. Yo, that's crazy. That's all amazing that you can make that sound with your, your mouth, too. You just had that queued up. <laughs> Yo, hell yeah. Um, that was that was dope as fuck. Um, General Chow, man. So this is an oldie what that you just never released or um, you just hiding it somewhere? Send it to me, bro. Send it to me, man. It could definitely, you could see. Let's go. Hit it. <laughs> oh my god so yeah general um dude i would say fucking finish this shit get it out there just put it out i mean even if it's like on a mixtape or something um like obviously there's a bunch of room for the the master like you could see there's some clips there so the headroom could be brought up a lot you do it over here Maybe try looking into something called pink noise. Um, pink noise is like, it's like inaudible noise, but you can beef up some of these really low ends. Um, it might help. It might not, you know, but maybe looking into something called pink noise might help uh, just beef up some of these. A tune that has like ambience like that, it relies on the silence. It could make the, the shit beefier. Just a little bit beefier. It's all about the beef, all about the girth. You need soothe. Ooh, uh, me too, me too, honestly. Can you hear what I'm doing to your voice or no? Nah. <laughs> you, should, <laughs> you should listen to the chat. I mean, the, the thing. Wait, what thing? Can you hear what I'm doing to your voice or no? Nah. <laughs> you, should, <laughs> you should listen to it. Wait, what, how am I supposed to listen to it? Or is, is, it, is, it only is it only happening for me? Yeah, I think it's only happening for you. Sure. Yeah. Hold on. Let me. I'm listening to play. I'm listening to it back. Hello. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not hearing it. Damn it. I'm high. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It's. I'm, I'm over here cracking up. I wish. I wish I knew what was going on. Eric's the same. Oh man. All right, yo, General Child. Um, yeah, let me check what we got going on down in Discord right now. Um, if you got a music submission for us, throw it in our Discord. We got Indol, Templo, Temple Sloth. Uh, you know what? We're going to listen to Aptic. We're going to listen to Elevate because they put it in a week ago. So fuck it. All right, we got Aptic right now. And I think that's the good thing about. No, no, I'm... it wasn't tempo. It was tempo, tempo sloth. Um. Yeah, you got this one, bluesy thing. Yeah. Okay. Let's hear it. What you say to song? Some crazy shit. Even some crazy shit. Like I the exact same shit I said, I had to do it. What was it? Some shit. So now you feel like you wanna speak life. You talk about getting the money, talking about living. Yeah. I knew y'all gonna try to bring that shit up. I would curry that shit and say fuck that. I wanna talk about it. <laughs> but listen, at the same time, that's the shit.
start a little bit over. The intro's long. Over. Here we go. We're just gonna play it back. back i wasn't listening to it at full volume so i'm still going a little bit super gas okay. i heard what he was homie was saying about the call and response thing it's definitely sounds interesting but still the vibe it is it is I, I i heard that too those plucks bring me joy yeah with, with that pluck or something like that you know, there's a. There, it just doesn't rub me the wrong way. It being out of key or whatever it is, you know, it's kind of like he found a way to make it work somehow. You know, like um, almost like a jazzy way. Yeah, that was really cool. Cause I, I feel like jazz gets away with playing the wrong keys sometimes in a very organic way. You know. <laughs> You either hate it or you love it. But okay. We got um a couple more in fucking That was really cool. Dude, that was. We got Indol up next. Um I don't know if Aptic's in here, honestly. Uh but he's fucking always coming out with that heat, dude. He's always coming out with that heat. He did leave it there. So Got to do him. Got to do it justice. Maybe he'll just go back and watch the video on YouTube or something. I'll tell him to watch that. You know, that's. I guess that's the good thing about it being up on YouTube. On uh, YouTube. On YouTube. All right. So we got Indol. Everybody, we got Indol. 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 You right. can. Here we go. Okay. Let's do it. Woo! 
okay. Indal, you wild, wild man. You wild, wild man. All like the new music that's coming out is like its own thing. I know. Um, like seeing some of these people's SoundClouds too. Like look at look at Indal, 145. Do you do you remember what like your music sounded like? like at 145 or, or whatever you know i don't know if that's a real yeah, I representation could, I, could, I could show you and it's definitely not bad dude <laughs> yeah man it's um dude yeah and all go go throw him a follow if you haven't in comparison to that man oh dude, my god for real there seems to be a whole new technical grasp that a lot of people coming up have that just went right over my head i guess i missed the fucking boat on that one or something yeah but look at this. It's a brick, dude. It's a brick, too, man. It's like it's mixed nice. It's mastered nice. Um, it seems to be out, so I don't have much to say. Yeah. You know, like it. there's not much to say. It's fucking, it's good the way it is. It, it, everything fits it's in perfect. It's different. It's cool. Look at that. And again, also in the shorter end of the spectrum, too, so. <clears throat> You know, I'm listening back to it. I'm listening back to it, baby. Like nobody's business. I hit it with a like and a repost. You already got the follow from me, my man. So thank you for submitting your tune. Tempo. We got a submission from Tempo Sloth. He's got a it's a live loop live looping. I'm about to blow dynamite. Oh yeah. He said it's a raw live loop session, so let me play like, this let me send it to you just beatboxing oh is it or is it i, th I think he said live loop oh, look it's at just, that oh it's image. just beatboxing nice okay i want to sit behind the door yo i appreciate that man dude that uh that means a ton because uh honestly you guys are keeping the fire lit under my ass you know what i'm saying it's uh right. it's fucking some crazy shit out there for sure exactly like hearing this shit and see and just seeing it you know like the some of these guys like grow and stuff i'm like oh shit man i need to i need to keep on my uh learning game you know i think that's the most important shit we can't get left behind we just got to keep learning you know i think that's what twitch is doing right now too he's pushing me to do more shit you know yeah definitely I need and to just keep elevating the performance and doing it and doing it. like you know just every day where we're at, we have to practice. It's not like oh maybe I'll practice because I got a gig this week. <coughs> you know, granted I did take the week. I did not open the door in a week. You know, if I could play GTA role playing. Okay, so right oh elevate. We see you in here. We see you in here. We got um we got your tune too, so we got your tune. Let's go. Uh do you got this one open? Do you got tempos open? Yeah. Okay. Let's listen to it. It's Let's only a minute it. too. I'm excited. Dynamite. I'm about to blow dynamite. I'm about to blow dynamite. I'm about to blow dynamite. I'm about to blow. I want more. That was gas. Yeah, I want more, man. Hell yeah, dude. I honestly thought that was you doing some of the um, vocal effects in the beginning. Um, like, what was it? I'm about to blow. I thought you were, like, improv over that. It sounded like you're kind of, I'm about to blow, you know? That was, that was dope, man. Um, yeah, 
that's one of my favorite routines that he does for sure. Oh, really? Okay. Um, he's got he does his own Twitch thing, so you guys gotta go follow Temple Sloth. Yo, a hundred percent, man. I was gonna ask to link us to something since he didn't send us a SoundCloud. What would you like us to follow? Where would you like us to go and, and follow you? Oh, um, give him a little follow on the Twitchers. Yeah, dude, Tempo. I'll definitely be. Ch- when do you stream? When do you do your thing, bro? Oh, and your Insta too. Okay. Yeah, where can we keep up with that? Because that was uh, that was awesome. Yeah, what, he's, got, he's got so many routines too. It's great. What's um? What's your relation with him? Like, do you know him in person, or you meet him through Twitch or whatever? So I met him in Florida at a show. I, was, I think it was Too Many Zoos show. Correct me if I'm wrong. He came out, and then we be, he had him come up on stage and beatbox and stuff. And then we've just been homies since then. So they knew him, or you just knew him from from? No, no I just met beatbox like beatbox land, you know. Like, oh hell yeah! Just ended up like meeting meeting up and stuff. Oh, and I like dude, what happened sick. was I his one of his friends came out to. I don't, I don't, I don't remember exactly how it happened. Too many dabs, but I met you at the Moon Hoot show. He's saying not too many zoos, uh, and just kept in contact since then. He's a real good dude. He's a mod, mod of my channel too. So, yeah, I've noticed him in there. Um, he's actually the one that requested that eighty BPM. Oh joint. yeah, yeah, and that that one turned out so fucking good. That's one of my favorites from that that improv uh, thing that you guys did. Yeah, we hear that one was hitting for sure. Yeah, you guys, I think 80 BPM might be your shit, bro. I don't remember what it was. It was so, uh, was it, it, dude, it was great. It was great. I definitely played it back and made made a point to like look into where that was. I'm like, yo, check this one out right here. Check this one out. Because I think we were listening to it for maybe Marble Mondays or something. Okay. So, and then, uh, so then he said we beatbox together after the show, and then I invited him and his friends to the show, the next one. And then is that when I got you to come up on stage after? Tempo, thank you for the sub, my man. I appreciate yeah. that. That was and mad fun. I got you back too, dude. So, um, yeah, let me know when you fucking – when you're streaming too because that's, that's dope. Yeah, okay, I remember. I was like, yo, come up on – come out to the next show and I'll get him up on stage because I was like talking to your homies about it. Oh, hell yeah. In Orlando, then Tampa. So you're from Florida? Yeah. Nice, man. Nice. Well, yo, dude, honestly, I really appreciate you fucking throwing that in there. You know, you were making me, you were kind of like giving it some uh, pretenses. You were like, oh, man, I don't know. Like, it's going to be raw. It's going to be this. And, dude, that was perfect. That was dope. Fit right in with what's going on right now. Nice little vibe. I have a, some message. He needs these, he needs these morale boosters because he's got dope shit. Yeah, man. How long have you been doing it too? Because I see, I, I looked at your channel one to go follow, and it looks like you have the same. You have a lot of the the same stuff as uh, Honeycomb, right? You got the live looper right there. You got um some keys. A talk box, I'm assuming, or something like that. Whatever you were using to fucking spit that dope shit. Oh, okay. Looper, oh, the same looper that I have. Same too. looper, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm about to blow. I'm about to blow. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Okay. So, shit, man. If anyone got any more, t- oh, we got Elevate too. Yeah, yeah. If anyone got any more tunes, we got another one from Indol and another one from Gen Chow, and then Elevate Music. But um. Yeah, you know where to put them, man. You know where to put them. Uh, this like one in the beginning before all those links too. Oh yeah, you got one too. You got one. We got one from Honeycomb too. Yeah. Um. All right, so we're gonna go to Elevate because he just he was here. He posted this last week, and we didn't have one last week. Um, I'm gonna open yours up too. And I got another one from my buddy. You got a new one too? No, this is from my friend. All right. I just put it in there. Nar. Okay. We know Jack the Human. You want to get his um, SoundCloud ready and we can link that too when we play this? Yeah, I got it. All right. So we got Elevate in here. Um, and then we'll get into the other one from Indol, one more from Jen Chow, Honeycomb, so, and then his so mans. Right now, I'm looking at myself looking up on the, screen, on the thing. Oh, my God. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, you definitely been ripping right now. Ooh. There's not enough commands in my in my fucking uh, nightbot to explain how high you are. Probably there uh. was a community rips. There was a hot box. There was a dab. There was a fucking uh, a J because he rolled up a J. Yo, Yer, what up, Betty? How you doing? Um, we still got um elevating here. I saw you talking before. My man's always coming through with the heat. Squad deep on the the lovely Friday. Yeah, yo, we got uh we actually applied to partnership yesterday too. We actually applied to partnership. I had to fucking you know, make up a nice little bio, say what we're about here. I added the schedule. And it looked <laughs> proper. It looked proper. Hopefully we got a nice fucking uh we got a good chance. Y'all been coming through, guys. So, hopefully we'll have our first partner stream sometime next week, or within the month at least, if we get approved. If Honeycomb, you know, then if he starts ripping bigger dabs, then we might not get approved. It has to be under one gram dabs. Uh, we, we, we haven't hit that threshold yet. So oh, okay. So. Uh, you never know with you. Half G's, you know. Ha oh, only half G's. Okay, so we're good. We'll get partnership, no problem. <laughs> All right, so I'm sending you Elevate. <laughs> I-95, live present over here, Blaka. <coughs> Okay, wait, where is the studio? Let's go. Elevate was my uh, homie Sean Byrne, who passed away his original like dubstep name before. He changed it to his... Oh, really? Yeah. Man, cool. Elevate. That's what we were playing yesterday. We were only playing someone named Elevate. I think in GTA we were playing someone. Okay, I'm going to start this up. Real quick, elevate. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna make you louder. I didn't even know what was going on in the background, but you got the you got the track right. I don't know. Hold on, let me see. It's Alana Del Rey, Young and Beautiful. Uh, L O V. Hold on, I have like fifty of these SoundCloud tabs open right now. <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, I got it. Okay, here we go. Where you play with me 
This is four years old. Are you fucking kidding? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. We're goddamn ridiculous. Elevate. Really well constructed song. Yeah, especially for four years old. It says this track is from about four years ago that I just wanted to release for the Girth Gang. Like, goddamn, bro. Yeah, that's good. That's like true. To, uh, a big system, like a drum and bass fucking show. Or yeah. Like no, it would be perfect, like, oh, right, especially, like, right around here. It's just such a nice, fat bass, you know? It's just clean, nice and chill. This guy. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. No, okay, yeah, so. Bro. <laughs> Killing it. Killing it. Elevate. Always fucking doing it dirty. Um, Definitely a different vibe, too. He's got that, like, trip hoppy vibe. There you go. There you go. Yeah, cool. Yeah, dude. So, um, okay, we got Honeycomb up next, dude. We got uh, one by Intellect. One with Intellect, I'm sorry, his cousin. Produced yeah. by Honeycomb. This one's called Chop Sticks, bro. You got this one up, or you want me to send the link? You need yes, the link. Okay, I need to send you the link. I'll send you that. Right. I got it, I got, it, got, it, got it, I got it. Nah, I'm sending it to you anyway. All right. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right. Intellect, his cousin. Fucking G. If you haven't checked out Intellect, also do that. In my pocket, there's a rocket. Please don't make me pop it. If you ain't about that light, then why you pop shit? Turn your brain to a low man with my chopstick. Yeah, in my pocket, there's a rocket. Please don't make me pop it. If you ain't about that light, then why you pop shit? Turn your brain to a low man with my chopstick. Keeping it still, run up, get killed, right from the wheel. Hey, they wanna steal. I'm off a pill, turn up my skill. Hey, shooting like hard. Bread in your head, that is a bargain. Don't be a target. We like the army, I'm a sergeant. Hey, open the waist. Aim at your face, cock it and blast. Circle the block, measure you down, pill off and last. You <laughs> got a pack in the mail. Thought I had 10, I got 12. Hey. I'ma throw it on a scale. I can sell salt through a snail. In my pocket, there's a rocket. Please don't make me pop it. If you ain't about that light, then why you pop shit? Turn your brain to a low man with my chopstick. Yeah, in my pocket, there's a rocket. Please don't make me pop it. If you ain't about that light, then why you pop shit? Turn your brain to a low man with my chopstick.
<laughs> oh, man. I say we torch the whole barrel of monkeys. Mm. How about for having the songs not synced up? I think we we dance pretty on point. <laughs> We're hitting them, fucking lining them up. Hey, hey. <laughs> they have hitting it. <laughs> Drive by vibes, yeah. <laughs> Oh, man, I can sell salt to a snail. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, man, I got I got to put that up on Spotify. I just have it on SoundCloud right now. Yeah, that's dope. That's a nice line too. My man said I could sell salt to a snail. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I didn't even pick up on that one. I could sell salt to a snail. <laughs> <laughs> Super hard. Trash 808. Thought just an 808 with just a couple trash things on it, and then. I mean that's that's what it pretty much was for. Um, what's the one that I remixed? Um, <laughs> oh, another just trash eight away beat that I made. Sent yeah. You. <laughs> the um, fuck ting what? Ting. Uh, no, 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 not even Ting Ting. Uh, not even our unreleased. What's the one that I remixed for your cousin? I can't even remember the name. Sick. Oh, sick. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, I want to. We should play that too. Yeah, that's um, that's. That's why I remixed a Intellect track too, is because we had the exclusive stems from fucking Honeycomb. He produced the, the, the beat, and then sent me the tunes after I met his cousin at fucking DC Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> that was our first uh, our first meeting, was at um, DC's premier leather BDSM bar. Was, and we've been we've been good buddies ever since, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sick oh, right yeah. side remix. Let me check. Um, yeah, this is the original. I love the original too. You gonna play the original a little bit? Ah, uh, yeah, I'll play the original too. All right. You're playing yours right now, the one you made. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Just clip, just clip. Like, I never play this. But this tune is fucking his cousin, ready? That's MC Ride. Where's his cousin now? Wow, I don't know why I don't play this fucking tune. play that anymore like what the fuck is wrong with me dude um that screaming is actually our man's honeycomb over here that's this guy you know we talked about the metal in the interview section of today and it actually has come to light <laughs> <laughs> this man screams um and the original was sick honeycomb um, and there's like a little bit, you could hear the remnants of the tune. It's not much besides the screaming and a little bit of ad libs, but it has this, uh, what's that like? The lead? Yeah, it's the lead. It's the lead from it. It's not the 808. It's dope though. Ready? Okay. Are you playing it? Yeah, I'm playing it right now. I'm going to repost it too because fuck it. It's dope.
Chow, that was um, Intellect. That is Honeycomb's cousin. He produced that song, and that was the song, the one that we listened to before that was the remix I did for. This is the original. The song was so fun Dude. to me. <laughs> and I love it. I love the lyrics in it too, man. They're not just like the fucking hype lyrics too. He speaks Spanish at one point, I think. The yeah. Cafe de Leche. <laughs> yeah. I'm in, every, I'm in every city like Starbucks, Cafe de Leche, something. <laughs> I feel like I'm Hefe. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. I feel like I'm unfuckwittable. I'm like uh, y'all, but I'm oh. way more lyrical. <laughs> that shit was so much fun. And all the, the lead was just lo fi, the, I mean, redux on my this thing. No way. Yeah, that's all it was. I, I love the um, lo fi even on his voice. It's like even on the vocals or something. This tr- uh, trash, or what do you got on there? It was, uh, I just EQ'd out like everything up until like the mid like the almost like the middle of the mid range and kind of just made it sound like a phone call like bro megaphone thing <laughs> i was just picturing for the music video i was just like him fucking <laughs> well on a megaphone you know what i mean like in people's faces and shit like <laughs> dude that would be fun man when did that album come out that was a while ago though right maybe two years ago two years ago on 420 right uh-huh See, I know my fucking honeycomb lore, bro. <laughs> I know the honeycomb lore. Um, all right. Well, I saw Simba jump in here. Do you want me to throw throw on a Simba track? Um, Simba and fucking Lauren Dowie, both at the same time. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I like it. I like it. Um, we also got. Jack the Human too. We got another one. Jack the Human. You want to link uh, your cousins? Hold on, I can't hear you. Did you mute yourself or something? What? Okay, never mind. Oh. I can hear you now. Oh. We got Jack the Human. You want to link uh, Intellect or maybe the song again too? That sick tune. Fire, guys. All right, we got Jack the Human. Nar. Betty White, how you doing, baby? Playing Jack the Human now? Yep, it's Jack the Human.
Keeping all the heat stress Hey, I like that ending too. <laughs> Jack the human made that. What do you say? Jack the human made that dub. <laughs> Fire. Love. Oh, I got Jack. a little dizzy during that one. Shout out Jack. <laughs> For real, shout out Jack. Hey, um, you guys got to make a song. <laughs> I'm down, man. I'm down. Everything I've heard you play from his, him, I'm Dude, like. You guys did make something great. <laughs> Dude. God, I'm out of breath just listening to it. It's heavy, man. Ooh. Nice. Those three sixties didn't help, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> like blurry and stuff. <laughs> Fuck it. That was fun. Fuck it. We do it for the good music. Um, all right, let me see if my man left me anything. You you link Jack the Human, right? Yeah. Do it. Okay, perfect. Perfect. You guys got tunes together? Um Yeah, we have a Unreleased one that I could play. Okay, all right. That's what we're here for, right? Yeah, it's like he's. De- I'm, I'm gonna see if he's sent me the the more updated uh, mixed one, but this one's fine. It's like so this is a. Uh, I'll send it to you on Facebook. Here you go. I'm gonna try to find the other one, but I mean, it's just like kind of. It's definitely mixed a little bit better, but okay. This is it's almost a year old, and he still hasn't released it yet. Oh wait, it says it's not found. You uh-huh. might have to send the little um, the oh. bottom link thing. I don't know. Yeah, no, you're right. Okay, there we go. Just let me know when you start playing it. Uh, I'll start right now. Ready? Yeah, go. Let's go. So I'm playing the keys on this. Oh. oh. The keys, okay. Alright, so another honeycomb banger. one but he definitely has a longer version somewhere else damn yeah dude it ends so quick <clears throat> abruptly too abruptly man ah but that's um you're muted oh, okay ended too abruptly man minute and six yeah he's got the three minute version somewhere oh a three minute version three times <laughs> the length holy shit you gotta go follow him on uh twitch to go to go unlock that one now yeah so go um Hold on, I got the honeycomb socials command. Go follow. Twitch is the first one up there, the first link for a reason. Do it. This man streams kind of on on a schedule, right? Yeah, I'm usually like 10 and 15 minutes late, but. I hate me too. That's, I'm going to go back to it now. So it's like Sunday, 7 or 420, and then Tuesday, Thursday. Um, 
seven ten. Okay. So three we start days a week. The, yeah, three days a week. And um, you what's, what about the Zoom box? You do something on Zoom too. Oh yeah, the Zoom box party. That's like once a month. Uh, instead of it being like Twitch, where you're just playing to the Twitch abyss, you guys can like uh join in and have your camera showing, and it's a pretty cool dance party thing. And it's like I'm trying to create something where artists have an outlet to still play shows, even though they're not happening, and still get like some some bread. So it's a donation based thing and there's like a hundred slots and the last one we had uh michael wilbur from moon hooch do it and i was trying to get the man bright side here to do the next one i haven't really picked a date but when when would it be now in know, june like, july like, i mean we could do it like a month from today or something like that so i like have a time to promote it instead of doing it at the end of because uh, normally it's it's the third week weekend of third week of i mean excuse me the fourth week of the month but i'm trying to i don't want to like not have a proper time to promote it okay so what is um fourth week of the month on any day or just uh mondays tuesdays day and i usually do it like during the like during the day okay a little bit early so it's like instead of like waiting and being up all night like kind of do it at like in the middle of the day because also i want to try to have it so like because sometimes some kids will come in or like Old, older people and stuff so it gives other people that don't normally have an opportunity to that stay up super late to like get a show and it like, kind of helps it's, it's nice to start the day day off doing a little like, yeah. early definitely so so um wait where can they do you have like de- separate socials for that right that's at the zoom box party at zoom box party what on all socials or like instagram or something it is uh just Instagram right now, but I'm gonna get, open up the the uh, some other socials too. Okay. I just gotta. I think I might have the Twitter as well. I have the the dot com. I just haven't set up the website. I'm trying to do a few more. So after you, and then we do one with Recno. Hey, there he and then, is. And then uh, then after that one, doing something like a beatbox one. Oh, so is it and, more? Is it geared more towards the live instrumentation, or is it geared towards? Um, yeah, is cool and stuff. So okay, all right. All right, well, dope, man. So um, we're definitely gonna fucking be up with that, and I'll keep everybody in the loop. He got uh, yeah, he put the the Instagram. Go follow that. Cause Cause there's a little preview video up on the Instagram too. Oh, okay. Show. Maybe I'll, maybe I could show it. You know, it'd be dope if I had a little TV we could watch something on too. I could put the window up like that. I'm gonna, you know, I got three ideas. Doing, we'll get there. Doing today. Um, I got the guest. Slash me behind a drum set. Um, I got there was something else that I wanted to write down. What did we just talk about? I don't know. I forgot this, to be honest with you. This is why I needed to write shit down. I literally just forgot. I the whole meaning of me writing something down. <laughs> what was I gonna add? Oh, a television. A television that we could watch some shit on. Maybe we could show a clip of he's <laughs> a stoner. Yeah. Stoner. <laughs> um, maybe yeah, like a TV up there or something. You know, you know when someone comes on to a late night show and they're like, "Oh, we got oh, there's a clip of uh, the new movie you're promoting or something." Yeah, it's gonna be like that. We'll put it up and we can all watch it together. The laughing and stuff too. The ah, so, yeah, audience reactions. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you need an oh. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> The sushi dragon fucking thing. And what you should do is you should do a user submitted thing where you can get everybody to s- send you all these stuff so you can make it like everybody's like laugh is like part of the show. True. Because you do like the real sounds thing. So it could yeah. be like, it's like everybody send me a clip of you laughing. Ha 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 ha. Wow. Or like, laugh. So anytime, oh, it's like everybody literally that's watching your thing. So it's like actually the audience reaction. Yo. Stoner ideas. I just thought of that Stoner right now. Stoner ideas. Okay. Audience reaction crowdsource. I'm putting that in fucking straight open crowdsource. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need your sample first too, bro. Oh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you can just get all those from everybody. Yo, exactly. The range of emotions. <laughs> That's like next because he, he probably uh, the homie who I'm thinking of that. Uh, who who is that guy? Uh, Sushi Dragon. 
Yeah, he, those are probably samples, you know. So these would oh, be yeah. like leg- legitimate audience. Where so we're wow. taking it to the next level here. Actually, audience reactions from your Dude, Girth Gang audience. That's incredible. I, I just wrote three fucking big ideas down. I don't yeah, know who we're getting uh, next week, but it's gonna be big, and we're gonna it's gonna say honeycomb. We're gonna fucking pay homage to honeycomb right there. I'm gonna pay homage. <laughs> that, was, that was a cool idea. <laughs> the, the great idea. Thank God you smoked those dabs. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Back to the hot box for on that note. <laughs> oh shit! We're gonna load up. Um, we got another one from Five Star and another one from Jen Chow. And I think that's how maybe we could close up. Maybe we could close out the night if you want to play one more little diddly too. Feel free to if you if something if inspiration yeah, strikes. But we um, could play some play some game call it Call of Duty or something that's not gonna make us wait twenty hours. That's true. That's true. Bring it bring in something else and keep the vibe going. Keep the fucking vibe going. As soon as you switch that to, to video games, it's gonna be like <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, man. We hit that. We hit the application process, so we good. We good. We hit the motherfucking application process. Hopefully, now we get a plot. We get uh, partnered. That's all. That's all it's gonna take. But I don't know if anyone's getting behind this nonsense. <laughs> Twitch officially endorses this. <laughs> 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 yeah, right. <laughs> it's, crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh man. Hey, that would be that would be dope though, cause we got this. We fucking put together this whole late night set. All right, I, I fucking uh, fixed up this goddamn 1963 Volkswagen Bug. Put a new engine in it just so we could smoke in it. Just so we have a safe a safe place to smoke. <laughs> Here he is. Why don't it would be cool for the background of that? You should get like moving drive by. Thing so when you get in, it looks like we're moving and behind it. Right. I think I actually have one too. I could use. Like oh you could God. totally get the, per- especially for this, you could key out the windows on that one, the front view, and it would look like a front view of the car driving through traffic <laughs> and stuff. You could totally get that. Yeah, no, I could definitely do it on the other one. But then they might get on us, bro, for smoking inside of a moving vehicle. I don't know. Are we breaking the law? <laughs> Are we we're gonna breaking- get pulled. We'll get pulled over. Exactly. Twitch can't get behind that. Twitch cannot get this behind. This we're chilling. That. We're not moving here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're stuck. Okay, here we go. All right. Yeah. So hey, war zone. Some war zone. Should we? Should you want to host it? You want to? We want to raid you and fucking. You want to host some war zone? I can try. Yeah. I haven't. I haven't even opened war zone in a while. You're gonna have to. Oh, you're gonna. You're gonna have to have an 84 megabyte. Update to do oh, that. Oh God! Well, maybe we don't do that. Then. I'll, I'll open it in the background. See what's good. I'll open it in the background. See what's good. Hotbox the Deja plane. All right, I gotta add some more over. What would be cool too is if we did like a, a three way me you Rekno Deja stream. Yo, I'm down. Like You're like um, the, all the all the the, thir- the whoever who else was on there that was like that was like the pivotal event of the our careers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get no. the, get the complete shaft. For real, dude. Ugh. Oh, it's gonna be really cool. It's all right. We worked it out. Yeah, but uh, I could add some more beach overlays and shit. Fuck it. We could get the three of us on. I think he got a green screen recently too. So um, yeah, guys, if you want, if you want to load up Warzone, maybe we'll fucking play that shit um right now. We uh after after this two tracks from Base Five Star and uh, General Chow. So. I know you know if we could try to get the GTA queue, we're gonna be sitting in here for. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna be sitting in here for a while. Um, Gabe, I'm sending you this next one by Five Star. Let me get to. <laughs> Yoi boys. Studio. All right, let's get it. Are we listening now? Yeah, I just sent it to you. Yep, yep, I just sent it to you on Facebook.
hell no. I got a 50 gig update. I can't play Warzone. Why is this shit bugging out? What the hell? Why is it bugging like that? So is this the new collab with one sec? It says he fucking uploaded this. It says he uploaded this 31 minutes ago. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. Tune is definitely huge. Five star. Dude, only continuing to prove our point. This oh man is crazy. Okay, so we got one more from Jen Chow. And, yo, I don't know if you heard, but my fucking update for... Warzone was fifty gigabytes. Yeah, you're hit in your face. Yeah, I can't even I can't even fucking do that right now. My computer doesn't even have fifty right now. Oh. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna have to get rid of Warzone. It's just <laughs> it's just taking up like a hundred gigabytes on my computer. Word. It's ridiculous. I buy some more space, dog. I know, I need to buy some more you already. Money and get some more space. <laughs> We got the subs to help out, thank God. Good dude over there. <laughs> you know, thousand subscribers, dude. You can fucking you can fucking buy whatever, dude. You know, you're good. Yo, what do you think? Rent in the studio is free? Look at all this equipment. Looks like it, dude. What do you mean? It's for, look at all this equipment. This is fucking expensive all this equipment. equipment. You ain't got none of that. Look none of it's real. It's real. It's so real. You ain't touching shit. How dare you? I'm touching the buttons. I'm mixing. I'm mastering. You ain't mastering nothing. Where do you think those plaques came from? Oh, uh, the plaques came from Google Studio. <laughs> Blood, sweat, and tears went into those Search plaques. Studio. <laughs> That's not it. It's platinum <laughs> PNG. It is. <laughs> Google Search Studio. It's got, it's got the most basic text on it, too, you know? <laughs> It wouldn't be you got, even got your your records, dude. Hit the fan, white chocolate, dude. Platinum, gold, dude. <laughs> all over that shit, dude. You know, you got two hits, man. You got all these songs and two hits. Come on, dude. I got no room for the plaques. All right, I'm gonna have a different room now. You, wall space. There. I got that another was, idea then. Plenty of wall space. Yeah, more wall space. Write that down. <laughs> More wall space. Dude. Trophy room, all right? Just to shove it in your face now. You go and change it. You got to gloat and brag and go show up in your trophy room, all your hits, dude. <laughs> you know? Make sure you put the old songs on there and note the plays on there, too. You know? <laughs> Do it. You got 20. <laughs> all the private tracks, you know what I mean? Yeah, 20. Up there. Quick 20. 20 bill. <laughs> hmm. 
international. Take him and put him on, put him on the wall. Just put him over there and throw him on the wall. You got hit the fan. Shit's at the fan now. You know, it's all over the place. It's all flying everywhere. It's, it's fucking shit's hit the fan. Shit has definitely hit the fan. You know? That's why it's double platinum. Double, double diamond. It's, you double G's, you know? Double down. <laughs> double diamond. Double diamond. <laughs> Can we type that in? Yeah, type it in, you know? Hit those keys. They're not moving. Hit them. <laughs> Nothing's moving, you know? But shit's happening. Nothing's moving and it's happening still. What's going on? It's happening. It's, it's happening. You don't know believe. You is getting down and it's going down, everybody. Everybody is going down. <laughs> Going down. Hey, hey, damn! All right, you want to you want to throw throw in one little diddly before we go? We got Jen Chow. We're gonna leave off with him, but psh, bro, I'll be damned if we don't get another another diddly. I'll do a, I'll do a beatbox. Diddly. All right, let's get Eight. it. <clears throat> Find the settings. Here we go. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, check, check. Uh, <coughs> Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, 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 Fuck, fuck,
God, everybody F's in the chat. Everybody F's in the chat. Everybody makes the clapping noise. Everybody, crowd, what did you think of it? Oh, I don't agree with you, crowd. Fuck you, crowd. F's in the chat. The chat could F. I agree with the chat, though. Yes. The crowd, don't rip his dick off. Don't rip the man's dick off. He's been working hard for us. Woo! Thank <laughs> you. 
Ooh. <laughs> Jesus. Yes. Jesus. All right, one more time. F's in the chat for Honeycomb, because that went wild last time when we asked, and uh, he just kept going. He just fucking kept going with the diddlies. Kept going with the diddlies. Kept going with the diddlies, the man did. Um. Yes. Okay. Okay. F's. F's in the motherfucking chat. Okay. Um. So we do got this last one by my man, General Chow. He fucking hit us with a great one before. Um, let's get. We'll send off with this, right? So one more time, yo, make some noise for Honeycomb. A video game, so I can do something, you know. Trying to, trying to what? Do up a video game, so you can bring, so you can keep it going. Yeah, man. Do you wanna, do you wanna like, um, start up can... your stream or something? We'll raid you, and you could, you could finish it off or some shit, or uh. I don't think I'm gonna do. I don't even know if I'm. I don't have to do video games. I can play some music. Hey, I mean that works too, bro. I mean, hey, I mean people you, seem to like that shit. Yeah, I don't. I suck at Call of Duty, anyways. Yeah, dude, me too. I'm terrible. And I it's play with some keyboard and stuff, and it'd be like really bad. Fucking Thug Life RP is 25 person queue, so it'll be a long time anyway. You checking? I checked. I checked. I'm not gonna lie. I checked. Okay, so let me send you this one. I send me it. We'll listen, and um, we might maybe go raid you or something. Uh, we'll give you some time to set up or whatever. Fucking get feel. Set it, up. Set it up. It would be it would be awesome if we like ended these off and and raided somebody uh, raided your channel or something, and then they played a set or some shit. You know, like if we had every guest play a set on their channel at the end. That makes sense, though. Yeah, right? We just raid you guys, fucking show you guys some love, too, because your channel needs to grow, too, man. Your yeah. channel needs to grow, too, <clears throat> brother. Especially since you're not going to be affected by that copyright shit. You're good to go, man. You're like, bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Later. <laughs> See you. Later. I'm grabbing the track right now, still. Like, setting up my cameras and stuff. And Okay. Getting my restream thing setting up. I got the song queued up. Log in. That would be dope. I remember on hell saying something about that. Like, um, they they do one set on somebody's inst somebody's account, and then they'll raid the next account. You know, and then it's like, oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Um, instead of just playing on somebody's. Thing. At this point, it just doesn't even make sense. Because it's all about growing your own shit at this point. I feel like people even aren't even watching. Um, like, they're not even really watching sets that much anymore. You know, obviously, they're going to turn some shit on. But, like, they would turn on SoundCloud or Spotify anyway, you know. But I feel like people aren't as enthused about sets in general as they were when this thing started you know it's almost lost its sense of uh i don't know like it's just lost it's like new newness melvin what up my guy how you doing dude so glad to have you in here we got one more track from our homie jen chow our man honeycomb is setting up his stream he's gonna go on live with uh with some music play a little <clears throat> you know what? He he usually streams on Tuesdays and Thursdays. He said, fuck it. I'm going hard on Friday right now. Fuck it. We going hard on Friday. But, um, yeah, I'm going to throw in this general just in the background real quick. Yep, I'm, I got it too. And then, uh... Um, yeah, we didn't get too many. We didn't get, I mean, if you guys got any more questions for, for our man's honeycomb, we could ask him while we're sitting in the hot seat right over here. Um, <laughs> but we didn't get too many, uh tunes which not necessarily is a bad thing because i think me and him got to banter and he got to fucking go off on his own shit too i think it got to really utilize his own his own live performances you get a little taste of it over here so please go over there and follow it subscribe well you can have like people on your twitch <laughs> yeah nah for real this is uh you know we were just going to be playing gta anyway probably <laughs> so yeah. fuck it a little more productive just a little bit. A little bit. All right. This one's called Against the Sky by General Chow. Big ups, General.
Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, I think it was a great way to fucking. Honestly, I'm glad we saved that to the end. You know. It yeah, that was a nice, like, smooth vibe. Yeah, a nice, smooth fucking vibe. Um, I think Base 5 Star had a perfect question for, like, that kind of thing, too, you know? Like, just any advice, and you want to just uh, say that out loud, maybe? Uh, we'll, we'll end off with some words of words of wisdom from Honeycomb. Uh, he was like, oh, I got this thing on. Uh, <laughs> the, the voice box. Yeah, the voice box. Um, He said advice for people who are starting off artists or starting artists and i said uh try to go do as many events as you can just try to put yourself where you need to be be around the people who are doing what you want to be doing you know if you know if you know people who are doing stuff just put yourself around those people and i mean just keep showing your music to people and it will just naturally happen because especially like everybody who's been playing music all their music is 